So here he is, folks, the 2008 Olympic gold medalist in freestyle wrestling, Henry Cejudo, challenged Demetrius Johnson for the UFC Flyweight Championship. When he has tried to take down an opponent in the UFC, he's been able to do so. That includes Mighty Mouse. We really, though, have seen a boxing-heavy attack in the UFC. Outstanding hand speed on the Phoenix, Arizona native, Henry Cejudo. This guy has tremendous ground technique, and his ability to pass guard and get to a dominant position is elite. So the decorated Muay Thai practitioner is finally in the UFC where he belongs. So many different ways to end this fight early tonight. Outstanding kicks, beautiful knees, punches in bunches, elbows in the clinch. He'll go to that elbow early and often. Got to be mindful of that tonight. And any one of those weapons are fight enders. If you've watched the film, you know that. Good to see this man making the walk to the octagon tonight. Stefan Struve is a towering, almost seven foot tall monster with great striking and beautiful submission technique. He uses his height well on the feet and on the ground, and when he wraps one of those long arms around your neck, it's like a python. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with big differences in height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamazaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. From the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the USC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Greco Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 13 wins, 2 losses. He stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting at a Phoenix, Arizona, Henry the Messenger Zahudo! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red right corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record on. 32 wins, 11 losses. He stands 7 feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Body of a beaver with the Netherlands, Stefan Skyscraper! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long Come on, time. Ready? And it is you gonna ready? go down Let's right go, now. We are underway. Snapped off the jab nicely there. the overhand right. Oh, huge block! Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it, so let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. And there he swung with a haymaker. Side leg kick. Really, he might have hurt his knee there. Woo! Woo! Look at that jab. Oh, how clean is that jab by the skyscraper, Stefan Struve? 
with under three minutes now to go on the round. He, he landed a left hand there. He is really finding a home for those body kicks. Oh, absolutely, Joe. These body kicks are significant strikes. You're starting to wonder how much more he can take. And both guys really throwing with authority. He lands a very nice combination. Zahudo gets lit up by that straight punch. Wow! This could be oh, it. He might be out. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Nice takedown. He's got a dart. He's on the bottom here, inside control. And to get the Darce choke, what he wants to do is rotate his body, slide his arm underneath his opponent's neck, clasp his hand behind his... And there it is! Set up the choke, completed the job, and got the victory. Well, you can tell he has been working hard on his submissions in his training camp. That was a near-perfect setup on that choke. Sunk it in deep, and the opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. He chose to tap out. And here we see a beautiful example of the Darce choke for the win. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. At three minutes, 46 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Step one, stars, right so there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone any better. He did have some doubters coming in. He said, I got to mute those naysayers. And they're not going to keep quiet unless I can actually get this guy out of there. So mission accomplished. No judges necessary tonight. He gets the